What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Leo coming to you guys with yet another video. So, this Saturday is Clash of the Castle, so I'll be bringing you guys my predictions for that card. Who do I think is going to win? Also, later in the video, I will do a different part of the video where I just talk about like returns that I can see happening at the, the pay per view. And yeah, but I'm not going to waste your time. I'm going to get into it with the first match, and that is the, the tag team match Edge and Rey Mysterio versus the Judgment Day of Finn Balor and Damian Priest. Who do I think is going to win? I think um, the, the Judgment Day are going to win this. I predicted them to win at SummerSlam, but we had the return of Edge. But I think in this scenario, I think they should win. And I also think that Dominic Mysterio would turn heel, allowing the Judgment Day to pick up the victory here. I guess um, extending the feud just a little bit more. I don't know if this is going to be the end of the feud, but I definitely think that the Judgment Day are going to win here. I think they are kind of on the... I think you want to build them up, so I think they need a big win. And I think this is probably a good win for them to solidify them as a dominant force, pretty much. Um, even though they kind of been booked a little poorly, but I think this is a way to get them back on track. So I do have the Judgment Day picking up the win here. Any next match is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Liv Morgan defending her title against Shayna Baszler. And I see a lot of reasons why Shayna Baszler should win. I think since Triple H is kind of running it, I'm pretty sure that Shayna Baszler is really one of his favorites is like and whatnot. But I just don't think they need to put the title on her just yet. I think you need to build her up just a little bit more because I don't think the fans are behind her just yet so i think they need to hold off on that for now i know that ronda rounds is starting to come back into the fold and stuff like that what i think they should do for now is do Shayna baszler and ronda rousey as a tag team that would be a credible tag team to that women's tag division and be a huge threat to whoever's champion and they will be somebody that a lot of people can be invested in um within a few months and stuff like that. So I definitely think Shayna Baszler being around Ronda Rousey would definitely get people behind her again so we can see that NXT version of Shayna Baszler that we all know and love. And then probably once that team disbands, then you have them do a one-on-one -on -one feud. And then from there, after that feud's over, then you can insert her back into the title picture. But for now, I think Liv Morgan does retain. And I also think this is a way people could do Liv Morgan possibly turning heel. If you want her to do that, if they want to turn her heel or show like a darker side to her character, I think this is a good moment to do that right here. So I do have Liv Morgan retaining the SmackDown Women's Championship. Any next match, it is Seth Rollins versus Matt Riddle. Yes, I'm calling him Matt Riddle, and it's basically announced that his name going forward is going to be Matt Riddle again, which I'm very excited for. That feud that they have right now is very entertaining. I'm glad that they postpone that match they were going to have at SummerSlam and build it up even more for this pay-per-view at Clash of the Castle. I think they should have added a stipulation to this match. I think this should have been like an Extreme Rules or no DQ match or something like that. And their their promo that they had on Raw was entertaining and they were just throwing shots like Seth was, was not having it when uh, Matt Riddle took shots and talking about his wife like that. He was not playing and he had to, he had to dish out dish it right back and stuff like that and, I, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people will love that segment that was probably one of the, the highlights of Monday Night Raw this week but who do I think is going to win I don't know this is a toss up I don't know who they give it to I'm, I know Seth is really more of a Triple H guy and I think Matt Riddle is a, a more of a Triple H guy too it just depends on who you go with I think Seth needs a big win so I think Seth wins here and then you have him go after whoever's champion um, I'm gonna. This is gonna probably play into my fantasy book in a little bit. Probably later in the videos, you guys will understand which uh, match I'm talking about when we get to it. But I do have Seth Rollins picking up the win here. In the next match for the Intercontinental Championship, we have Walter defending the Intercontinental Championship against Sheamus. This match is definitely gonna be one of those matches that could definitely steal the show. I'm definitely invested in this match, and. And Sheamus has a lot going, riding on this match as well because if he wins, if he wins this match, he will become a Grand Slam champion winning the Intercontinental Championship. And I definitely think that's what 
you want to do with him long term. I just don't know if you want to have him win here or you have him win at a different pay per view. So I definitely don't know where they're going to go with it. But I'm going to go with the safe pick. I'm going to have Walter retain the Intercontinental Championship. If he lost the title, I understand why because then you can propel him to the main event scene, which he should be in right now. But I'm definitely like the slow build that they're doing with Walter and getting a lot of fans behind him and stuff like that. So I'm going to have Walter retain the Intercontinental title. And the next match is a six-woman tag match. Bianca Belair and Alexa Bliss and Asuka versus Bayley, Io Shirai, and Dakota Kai. Who do I think is going to win in this match? I think Bayley, Dakota, and Io are going to win this match. I would have personally would have preferred if this was a winner-take-all match. if Because on Monday Night Raw, we had the finals of the Women's Tag Team Tournament. The crown new Women's Tag Team Champions. Io Shirai and Dakota Kai lost against... Um, Raquel Gonzalez and Aaliyah, which nobody really saw coming like that. I think that was a shock of the night for, for sure because no one really expected it. I mean, very few would expect it, but the majority did expect it. I, I know a lot of people are upset about it, but here's the thing I would say about that. I mean, sometimes you have to expect unexpected in wrestling. I think that was in a moment that you really had to expect unexpected, and I'm kind of glad that they didn't go... I think that's what we need in wrestling right now is more unpredictability, and I'm glad that they kind of gave it to us. Although I wish we got the predictable here because I think it would have made more sense because you've been building them up. <coughs> but um, I think they have to win here at the pay-per-view, and then from there you just have them go for the titles and win possibly. But I'm going to go with B Bailey, Dakota Kai, and EO to win here. In the main event, what I'm pretty sure is going to be the main event, for the Undisputed Universal Championship, Roman Reigns defending against Drew McIntyre. Um, I know a lot of people are going to say, Roman, 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 you can't bet against Roman, and you can't bet against Roman, and I definitely agree with you guys on that. I think Roman is one of those guys that, and he's coming up on two years on SmackDown, that's crazy, two years as Universal Champion. I think not, that's a huge accomplishment. Not many people get to reach that milestone, so I will give credit to where his credit's due. But I know Triple H has kind of been, you know, teasing it. He's like saying that um, he's not big, big of part-timers, which is kind of true. You've seen what he's kind of done in the past. He's not really big on part-timers like that, so I definitely think uh, there's a possibility he dropped drop the title here. And and also, their other thing is, will Drew re, uh, re like, bring back his old theme, the Broken Dreams theme we, that we love. I love that theme. That's one of my favorite theme songs of all time, if you guys don't know. Um, will that song hopefully, you know, come back for one night only? We'll see. But who do I think is going to win this match? I'm going to have Drew become the new Undisputed Universal Champion. I think since Raw is kind of wanting a full-time champion, I think what you can do is have Drew win. And then you have him keep the Universal title and stay on SmackDown because I think he should stay on SmackDown. And then you probably have him uh, drop the... Well, I guess Triple H can then split the, de the both titles and then have the WWE title be on Raw again. And then maybe you have a tournament or something like that to crown the WWE champion at Extreme Rules or something. We'll see. But um, I think... Here's where I kind of go back. I think Seth is going to win and then he can challenge Drew for the title. And then... You can possibly, if it's for the WWE title, then maybe he can win the title off of him, and then you can have Seth hold that title until Cody comes back, and then you have their feud going into Mania. So I definitely think that's how they can do it. I think Roman's been champion long enough. I think he's done everything that he's really possibly can do as champion. So that's why I'm gonna go with Drew. I think it would it wouldn't make really a lot of sense for him to have the home field advantage and lose, especially being in front of his people, his family, his friends, that's all in the UK. I think it would just be a huge slap in the face to them. So I think Drew's time is here, and I think you have him have that moment that he should have had at WrestleMania. Again, when he beat Brock, it should have been in front of a full capacity of fans, but unfortunately it was not. So I think that's the way you can give his moment back to Drew is have him win it here. But... Yeah, I do have Drew McIntyre becoming the new undisputed WWE Universal Champion. But that is the end of this video, you guys. That's my prediction for Clash of the Castle. 
um, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. If you are new, hit the post notification bell so you know every time I post a new video. We're on the road to 400 subscribers. We're at 380 right now. So keep running up the likes, comments, subscribes, all the good stuff. Sharing with your friends. If they're a wrestling fan, horror fan, or gaming fan, or any type of thing like that. But, um, yeah, two likes on this video. I'll do more videos just like this one. Also, comment down below your Clash of the Castle um, predictions and stuff like that. Do you agree with my predictions? Do you disagree? Or do you think that you agree with my predictions? Leave that all down in the comment section down below. But I will see you guys in the next video.